So, there's one camera that Canon has been missing from its lineup for a long time. In fact, I'm pretty sure Canon has never even had this camera before. So, I don't know, it's something I really want. So I thought I'd make a video about it. And if you guys feel the same way too, let me know in the comments down below. So, let's talk about it. All right, so uh, before we get into the Canon stuff and talk about the missing, 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 all right, before we talk about Canon and the missing camera, I just wanna say that uh, the halation you're seeing here is a uh, ProMist 1 8 filter. And the previous video, if you wanna watch that, the talking head bits in that video were shot with a black ProMist 1 half filter. So if you wanna see the difference in the halation, in the, uh, the strength of the 1 half versus the 1 8, uh, check out the previous video, watch this video, and you'll get a good idea of the difference. So with that being said, let's move on to this missing camera. Okay, so here's the thing. Canon has a pretty diverse range of cameras in their lineup. In fact, they probably have one of the most diverse ranges of, of cameras out of all the companies. We've got the little like point and shoot cameras. We've got the introductory cameras for new photographers and videographers. Then they have like the middle range cameras. Then they have the upper middle range cameras like the 5D and I guess the R5 would fit in that category. And then they have the, the higher end cameras. I guess the R3 is gonna be there, the R1 when it comes out, the 1DX series. You know, you have cameras aimed at studio shooters, you have cameras aimed at video shooters, sports shooters, action shooters, new shooters, like every segment is pretty much covered except for the everyday camera segment for professional photographers. And that's the camera that I feel is missing from Canon's lineup. Now let me, I'm shooting right now on the R5. I'm gonna replace it with the R because I need to demonstrate something with the R5 here. We're switching from C-Log3 right now to just regular IPB on the R. All right, so now we are on the EOS R and we switched from C-Log3 to C-Log. Same lens, same filter, same setup, except now with 4K on the EOS R, it should be a tighter crop because it's got that, I think 1.5 or 1.4 uh, crop when you're shooting in 4K, but let's get to the point. So an everyday camera, EDC, that's what I'm looking for. And you can see here, this is, uh, this is the R5. I have the 24 to 105 lens on here. This is a good like compact walk around lens. And it's still it's pretty massive, right? It's like the size of my head and uh, it's too big. Like I find when I'm uh, when I'm doing a photo shoot, this is perfect. This is a beast. It's uh, It doesn't have a battery grip. I like it nice and light and I like to be mobile when I'm shooting at shoots. So I'm out, you know, shooting a wedding or shooting headshots for real estate agents or whatever, whatever the case may be. This is the camera I go to. I think in terms of photo quality, this is the best camera Canon has ever made. It's just, it, the pictures are stunning, it's sharp, it's clear, and I, I love it. I love using it, except for the fact that, you know, I have some nephews and nieces and I wanna go to a barbecue. You know, I'm hanging out, I wanna get some nice shots, and it's too big, it's too big. Or, you know, being a photographer, I'm sure a lot of you other photographers kinda can relate to this, that, you know, Photography is a bit of a therapy. So after I'm, you know, after a long day of shooting, I'll get my camera, I'll head out and I'll go for a walk by the lake or go downtown and I'll just walk around and shoot pictures because it's something I love to do. But uh, with this camera, you know, hanging around your neck, strap, it just, it's so big, it's heavy, it's clunky. And I really, I, I tried taking it out for some photo shoots and I just, I don't like the weight of this camera and the size of this camera for going out. And I know the Canon, and Canon makes the M50 Mark II and the M6 Mark II, and those cameras are kind of targeted towards photographers who are just starting or just learning, and I get it. And I know I'm gonna sound a bit like a camera snob here, but for me, once you get used to the quality of this, those cameras are kind of, eh. I don't wanna say they're trash, but it's just like, it's hard to use those cameras when you're coming from here. That's why I said I would love to see a small, compact, pocketable, point and shoot style camera with a fixed lens aimed at professional photographers. So yeah, that's the camera that I would really love to see from Canon. You see, and the R5 I think could be the camera. It could be the one. Now, if we take a look at this, if we take off this lens here, 
and we look at this body, the body's kind of slim. If we take off, you know, all the things we don't need. Now I'm talking about a photography focused camera, everyday camera that photographers can take around and shoot their life with and have professional quality photos. If we get rid of the grip on the front, if we get rid of some of the buttons, if we take out the IBIS, take out a lot of the stuff we don't need and just make it a focused everyday, like I want to say like a range finder style camera that can fit in your pocket with a fixed lens, maybe a 35 millimeter lens and you know, shrink, slim, slim the body down a little bit. So it's a little thinner, a little lighter and just fit it in your pocket. And I think that would be perfect if we had like an R5 mini or something like that, that we could just, you know, put it in your pocket, put it in your jacket pocket. Even this could probably fit in your pocket. I mean, without a lens, you wouldn't want to put this in your pocket, but I'm just saying that the size, this could be miniaturized and made into a nice small compact rangefinder style camera, shrink the EVF, shrink the screen, get rid of the hand grip, get rid of the top LCD. We can get rid of some of the buttons and just simplify it and make it a nice, easy, fun to use camera. Have some ISO dials on the top and that kind of thing. Just make it, you know, a fun camera. I know that Leica has the Q2, which is a 47 megapixel full frame sensor camera, but Leica's autofocus is eh. The image quality is great, but the autofocus in continuous mode, not so good. Same with Fuji. Fuji has the XB, uh, X100V, which is about this size too. It's a pocketable point and shoot rangefinder style camera. Single shot like Leica is great, but continuous autofocus on that camera is not so good. And then you're dealing with an APS-C size sensor. I mean, Nothing against APS-C size sensors. I've used them before. You get some beautiful shots, but once you uh, once you get used to full frame and the detail you can pick up with full frame, especially this sensor, it's hard to go back to something smaller, you know. And and with APS-C, sometimes you lose the fine details in the hair. But anyway, I don't want to compare the two sensor sizes. I'm just saying, you know, as a Canon photographer, I would love if Canon could make like an R5 Mini kind of camera that could fit in your pocket with a fixed lens, maybe 35 millimeter. And I know Canon is always crippling cameras because they don't want to cannibalize their own market, but if it's going to be an R5 mini and it's going to have the same tech in it and be able to shoot the same quality, then, you know, if the price is 3000, it's 3000. I mean, it's, it's a mini point and shoot camera aimed at professionals. So, I mean, the, the price can be similar to the R5 because it's pretty much a mini R5, you know, and you can take it around. And if you shoot micro stock, for example, you can take that camera, you know, out anywhere and shoot some shots in cafes and things and get some good shots and make some money with that camera too. Because if you pull this out anywhere <laughs> in public, people are going to notice. But if you pull out a little point and shoot style camera, you know, people aren't going to be as, uh, they aren't going to notice it as much or they're not going to make a big fuss about it. Wait for this to pass. All right, that brings us to the end of this video. And uh, yeah, if uh, R5 mini or R5 rangefinder body pocketable size camera or something you'd love to see or love to own in your life, uh, let me know in the comments down below because you never know, Canon might see this video and be like, hey, you know what? That's a segment we haven't hit yet. Maybe we'll make a camera for that. And me personally, I would love to have this quality camera in a small body that I could fit in a jacket pocket and just take around with me everywhere, fixed lens, all that that stuff, just a nice compact quality camera for documenting my life. I would absolutely love that Canon. So if you're listening, hopefully we can make that happen. Um, yeah, with that being said, this video is over. If you wanna check me out on social media, boom, boom, Twitter, Instagram. And uh, yeah, if you like this kind of stuff, subscribe to the channel. I think I will be picking up a uh, point and shoot camera, something small and compact, maybe the X100B, maybe the Leica Q2. I don't know, but uh, that's coming up in a future video. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out. I will see you guys in the next video.